15 November 2005, this hamster was abandoned and uh, a kind lady adopted him. This is a him. Now the thing is, uh, what's the main worry? Uh, he said he cannot walk. Cannot walk and, uh... He cannot walk normally. Uh, the reason he cannot walk normally is actually due to his swelling, swollen abdomen. You can see his abdomen is much swollen, uh, very much swollen. I can feel that it's, it's something hard. Now, whether it's a bladder, a swelling, swollen bladder or, or not, it's hard to tell. Or it could be constipation. Now, according to the owner, uh, the new owner, the hamster is still can eat a bit and drink a bit, right? How many stools come up? The stools, you know? Quite a lot actually. Huh? Because I'm working, so when I got back home. So it does come out of the stools? Yeah. So so the stools can come out then? Yeah, how okay. how about the urine? You don't know? Uh, huh? urine. So we check the mouth, and the teeth are okay actually. Now there's an interesting thing, there's a growth here. Do you see the growth? Come this side and take. No, come this side behind me there. There is a, I don't know whether there's a growth or not. You come and see, you want to see? Oh, you see the seat. There could be the seat here. What, what do you offer him? Um, this one, the, the dry food. Oh, it could be yeah. dry food. Uh. Uh. This is a dry food, is it? Mm -mm. So this shows that the hamster has, still has appetite. Uh. There's an appetite. Uh, there's a pouch, a cheek pouch. The teeth is, is still okay. It's still it's quite active. Now I see the, the other side. It, it, this is quite a gentle hamster. It doesn't bite. Now we see this side, nothing, huh? okay. The chicken pouch is empty actually, so he didn't store food. Huh? Now, since you say he's, he can he can pass through, huh? mm. that means this is most likely, most likely uh, impacted colon, no, this part, this oh, part. Definitely. It's quite hard, yeah. Mm. So, but on the other hand, it could be the bladder. Huh? Bladder is obstruction. Bladder obstruction also cannot come out. The urine. Uh. Mm. So you say he did urinate, but very slowly. Ah, oh, yeah, slowly. I can see only the stool Very smelly urine. Uh. Yeah. So, so the thing is, uh, of course, if we want, then we will X-ray to to check whether it's a swollen bladder with stones or with some obstruction. If not, then what we do is uh, we gently massage the the abdomen and also you feed hand feed and then give medication mm. antibiotics huh? sometimes due to infection of the bladder mm. so most likely it is a swollen bladder if you say the urine is smelly it's very smelly um yeah smelly hmm. but normally they would drink you know so what you do you let him drink mm -mm. and then uh, we give him the medication okay. so if it's the constipated stools then whatever he eats we try to give a laxative so that he can pass out okay. slowly. Mm -hmm. Since the hamster is quite active, so the chances are quite good. Uh. Okay. Then this part you have to clean, you know. Mm -hmm. Then slowly use a, yeah, a small I, brush, uh, clean up. Oh, okay. Or clean up the metal hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, metal hair. Oh. So now the hamster is very active, so it's a good meal. Alright. Uh, so now the thing is, I can feel something swollen, it feels like a bladder or a tumour. It can be a tumour also. Huh? Oh. Tumour means inside the growth. Huh? Mm. Huh? They can see it's quite big. Yeah. But on the other hand, it could be the bladder. It feels like a bladder, swollen bladder. So if it's a swollen bladder, that means there may be obstruction or infection of the bladder. So we give antibiotics and painkillers every day for the next 10 days and then if the infection goes down, then mm. of course he can pee already. Oh. But at the same time, you hand feed now, whatever yeah, okay. you do. Mm -mm. Oh, that's the, the, the best thing to do now. Okay. Okay.